All right, Wiz, turn it down, baby. Hey, everybody get down on your knees for me. Hey, it's your boy Jack Thriller. We're back with New Jack Thriller City. And I got my next guest over here, man. He done told us how to love, man. Uh, he said it numerically, you know, from my heart to you, one, four, three. You know, he, he just uh, was very friendly, wanted us to be just friends. And um, he's here right now. So with that being said, man, hey, yo, he about to teach us how to love right here, right now. Y'all give it up for music, so. <laughs> Okay, that was that was something. You see what I just did, right? Yeah, there? that's all lot. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was that was too much. It's all good. and not enough, but you sold it. A, yeah, you good. A few times over. Yeah. Yo, music man. Hey, mm. um, first off, I want to say thank you for including me. You know, on your your verses. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was magical <laughs> for, oh, by, by my standards. Yeah, no, it was it was lit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, um, Yo, uh, first off, I, when we um, did the the Fat Joe recap, mm. I heard you say something in there, and okay. was, you were saying that that was one of the uh, the, the best times inside of your career, mm -hmm. and I didn't it, it, it blew my mind, and I didn't understand why because you have done so many different things. Um, I think it was because it was such on a global platform, and it was something, it was, it was um, as a part of something that's so heavily contributed to the culture, you know, and I got to share the stage with somebody that I, I love and respect. And it was there to celebrate both of our timelines and our contribution, you know, saying to the game. I just think that it was so many moving parts and so many, so many layers to it that made it like unfathomably legendary, you know. Now, this is not to discredit, you know, what I think you may be referring to as, you know, things that I may have done and things that may have impacted other people um, in a way. But I was just saying personally for me, like that's that was what a, it's all about. That was I, a that was a huge moment. Yeah. 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 And, and can can you like detail in what ways was it huge for you? Because it's a lot of people they they'll never be able to put their feet inside the same shoes that you got. Uh, you know, and because um, you you wear them so gracefully, and so <laughs> thank you. And I ain't gonna even, and I I, I don't even want to use this word, but sometimes I'm. Oh, hold on, did, did, I ain't gonna, carefree. Okay, carefree. Well, like day in a life. Well, I was yeah, it was just another day in a life. Um, I won't say carefree. That's the that's the sort of like the veneer that I present to people because I don't want veneer. I don't want. Oh, hey, hold on. So veneer ain't just about a teeth. You just made veneer mean something else to me just now. The point I'm trying to make All right, is. go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That was, that was. And now I know what it means. Go I ahead. presented right. myself in a way where I didn't want to spoil the experience if, you know, I may not be having a good day that day because there was a lot going on that day. But I made it about the moment, you know, so. I would say, you know, you using the word grace is very important because, you know, I provide myself with that, you know, and I try to exude that because I, I choose to operate out of gratitude, you know. So when I operate out of being grateful, the, despite whatever you may be dealing with, you're allowing the moment, you know, to represent you in a better light than not. So the re that's what I'm, I'm just saying, like the carefree part is like, nah, it was a whole lot going on that day. You, you care. Know. You definitely care. You know what I'm saying? And I was, I was, I was pretty tight and triggered all day, but I made it about, you know, how it could be perceived later, you know, and in, 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 as far as, you know, um, where it fits in the timeline of, of my timeline, you know, and the fact that, like I said earlier, all of those, all of those factors, you know, it being a moment to celebrate uh, my contribution alongside with. Uh, the good brother Anthony Hamilton and alongside everybody that was behind me including you you know being up on stage with me and just giving that energy like it was it was it was definitely a moment uh to celebrate now it, when it comes to even verses and everything uh like um you know if it, 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 it the inception is uh before COVID and giving people <laughs> something to entertain themselves right. as we go through whatever that was whatever that whatever, whatever that, was. that was yeah yeah 
And, you know, I don't even want to pin, try to pinpoint it right. and everything because, you know, later on, hey, things are subject to change, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, did you feel like Anthony Hamilton was a, um, a, a, a worthy opponent for you? That's the thing. That matter? That's the thing. I never looked at him as an opponent. That was the homie. Like oh. I get it, and it was and that's that's part of the thing that I'm talking about. That was like it was weird because it was a lot of people hitting me up like, "Yo, man, I need you to destroy him." And I'm like, "Damn, like this ain't <laughs> ain't a title fight. Like I'm not about to box this dude. Like I'm I don't know how it, it feels weird. It's like it's like you know when you're growing up in the hood and you know you, you know you you, know, you you got some homies or whatever, but because you know some crap went down and you on the other side. Now you got to go up against your boy, and it's like, I don't want to do this, you know? So I didn't, it, I was really kind of messed up, you know, uh, like a week or so leading up to it. Like, maybe, am I not understanding the assignment? Like, am I supposed to be, like, not liking this dude? And it's like, I don't have a reason why I don't like him, you know? And, but I didn't want to feel like I'm not participating in the thing like it's supposed to be participated in as, you know? Mm -hmm. But then I was like, bro, I'm going to do whatever I want. Like, I'm not going to come out here beefing with this dude. I'm not going... You know, I get marketing, I get publicity and promotion, I get that. But I'm not going to say a bunch of crazy things about this dude and then it potentially turn into some, it's like, I, that's just not the type of person that I am. So I just started, you know, thinking about it from, instead of looking at it as a competition, just look at it as a celebration, you know? And that just kind of freed me up of a lot of things. And I still was still awkward when it started, because I was like, okay, but, but, but people are looking for the, the back and forth. So I'm not going to rob them of that, you know, because people like the, 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 the healthy competition. So I played along, but then it's like, I love this dude too much, man. So that's why I started coming out singing with him and all of that, because it was, I, was so, I was so grateful that it was even happening, you know, that I, I, I was like, I'm not going to rob, not just the people, I'm not going to rob myself of the moment. Like, I get to perform with with Anthony Hamilton, you know? And he's nothing to just sleep on. Like, that dude is actually really dope, and he's been at it for a while, and he's a legend in his own right. Hey, Anthony has a lot of respect for you. That's what I saw that night. Yeah. But at the same time, what I also saw, and I, I only got one eye. <laughs> he was coming for your throat. Yeah. Uh, even inside of the promo of it, and but whatnot, I take, but I take that as he I, was like he was really playing into it. But I like, take, but I take it as a sign of respect. It's like if, if you respect your opponent, you yeah. know what I'm saying like that's that's an honor. Yeah. You don't want nobody you going up against. It's like ah, that's light work. It's like nah, fam. Like you might you might want to pay attention. You know. I, I, and and, and the, 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 the the I'm glad you said that because because I, I I'm gonna tell you how I felt. When I was in the room with you before, when we were in Atlanta, before we even get to LA, mm -hmm. and I, I felt like, man, this, this ain't even. He's not even wavering on this, and this is not even a big deal to him. He doesn't feel like this is competition at all. But this guy is really coming for him right now. He well, knows he's dope. He has supreme confidence inside of this and uh he knows he got monster records but that's not what was happening though and that's what i mean like whenever i have conversations with people and they express to me their expressions you know or their interpretations rather my bad of what they thought was going on this thread is bothering me i got sorry i got ADD and it's kind of bothering me a little bit i'm back uh i, I don't think of it as <laughs> I don't think of it that way. It wasn't like I was so confident that I got monster records or whatever. I'm, I'm thinking about, I want this to go well. You know, I want people to understand that I'm, I'm here to celebrate, not just my timeline, I'm here to celebrate his timeline. Like people don't know me and Anthony, we go way back. Like before y'all even knew a, a music soul child or Anthony Hamilton. Like, yeah, I met Talk Anthony, that shit. Yeah, I met Anthony Hamilton in like, I think 99, at a, excuse me, at an open mic club in Philly. And R&B Burp. Right yeah, there. and we was, they did, you know, when, when, the, when they let out, we was all standing on the corner, you know, and I was like, yo, I like, you know, I like what you did up there. Like, though, like, you know, 
what's your name? Where you from? And he's saying, hey, I'm Anthony Hamilton, from Carolina, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, okay, dope, whatever, whatever. And we was talking. So when both of us popped and we ran into each other, like, we was like, hey. <laughs> he was like, hey, yo. And so we was just, it was, we was just celebrating each other, uh, you know, for the fact that we both came up. So, and it's been love ever since. So when, and what a lot of people don't know is like the conversation about us being paired up happened at least almost like two, maybe probably two, three years before that. Yeah, but I just wasn't in the mindset to even do it because I was, again, dealing with a whole lot of other stuff. Paired up for what? For the verses. Yeah. Like, you know, we talked about this it. This was a thing. It could have been. It, it could have ended up being somebody else. He wanted you. Maybe. Yeah, and you didn't want, you wasn't wanting anything. I was you, just in a you different. You had been chosen. Exactly, yeah. So I was I was in a different mindset, you know what I'm saying, back then. That's why I didn't want to, like, go along with it. So, but, and it kept coming back around, and I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not, you know, Respect. on that right now. Okay. But when it came back around, you know, at the right time, at least for me, I was like, you know what? I think I need to like do this because it keeps coming back around, you know? And one thing I know about, you know, opportunities and moments and blessings, specifically blessings, they don't keep showing up knocking at your door, bro. You know, so I feel like I got a pass before because like if, if, if you knew, it's understandable that I was not in the mindset to do anything you know, like that. It wouldn't have been, I don't think it would have been entertaining. I think it would have been, it just would have killed the vibe, you know. I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have participated that much because I was, I would have been distracted, you know. I wouldn't have, not that I wouldn't have taken it seriously. I just, I wouldn't have been able to be present and focused and, and give, give my all to it, you know. I would have been, I just wouldn't have been, I just wouldn't have been focused. And I didn't want to do that, you know. So that's why I let it go the first time. Um, it came back around again. And I was like, ah, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna do it because you know, it like, give somebody else. It was mostly like give somebody else that opportunity, you know. But then it almost like came back the third time. It was like, all right, like this the last train out of town. So you sure you don't want to get on? And I was like, you know what? I'm not really fully like past whatever, you know, everything was, but I'm, I'm past it enough to know, like, I might want to get on, I might want to do this, you know? So I was going through whatever I needed to go through in order to make myself be available to it and focus on it. That's why it's not like I didn't see him as competition or I completely and fully respect that dude, but it wasn't even about that. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't, you know, the, the, the weakest link. I wasn't the one messing up the moment because I'm distracted with a bunch of crap and I'm not honoring, you know, the, the, the potential epicness of it, you know, because I'm going through crap, you know. So it was it was never ever about that for me. And I would tell people like it's not it's not a competition, not because I don't see him as competition. It's like I'm not competing with this dude. I'm literally going to be celebrating with this dude. Yes, it's going to be in a form of competition, but I'm 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 happy that we're even on the stage together, going back and forth, going song for song, that we can even do that, that we have songs that we can go back and forth with, that I'm a fan of and I respect, you know? And I and I got the love and 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 and, and the respect from him as well. So I don't want to come across like making it like a love fest, you know, like, oh that's the homie, that's my friend. Like, but yeah, he he is the homie. You know? Sorry if that killed everybody's, you know, internal beef with us, you know. And wanted us to be, you know, at odds, but that was never the case. The one thing that I learned about um, Music Soul Child in this whole uh, event is that you're not you you're not in competition with anyone. Mm. You're not competitive at all. I'm, I'm, you want I'm everybody with, yeah. to win. Yeah, exactly. Um, Dude, we got <laughs> we don't got a lot of time in this thing, bro. I'm not finna waste it trying to take somebody down and get in somebody's way and trying to like, you know, mess it up for somebody else. Like, that's not what I'ma do. Some people do that, I'm gonna part to them, but that's not what I'ma do. I'ma do my best to get mine and help other people get theirs. It's funny that you say that. 
Because I always think about, I always think about Muhammad Ali mm. when he gets beat by uh, someone like Trevor Burbick. Okay. And then there's a new guy on the scene uh, named Mike Tyson. Mm. And Mike Tyson comes in and Muhammad Ali comes up to the side ring, ring side and mm. say, kill him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he gives Trevor Burbick one of the most embarrassing ass whoopings <laughs> of his life and become the youngest heavyweight champion mm -hmm. of the world. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm thinking to myself, damn, Trevor Burbick, was it really, was it really, really, was it really worth it to to beat Muhammad Ali up when he was mm. on his last leg? Yeah. Just for a new guy to come in and make his career off of you mm -hmm. and become, I, I, I always that sound, wonder that where sounds, Trevor that sound, Burbick is. That sounds a lot like karma, you know? Yeah. What you give, you get. Yeah, you, 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 your whole life you've been looking up to and respecting this guy, and you get a chance to beat him, but because he's not the guy right, that you grew up right, on. Right, right, right. Mm. That ain't fair. No, it's not. That's yeah. That ain't cool. Yeah. You, you, you're worse than a bully. Mm. Wow, that's crazy. You're worse than a bully at right. that particular point. Right. And uh, even that night, like uh, I, when I, I was. Um, you know, uh, um, just pretty much uh, going over my assignment okay. as being in your, uh, being in your corner, mm -hmm. and everything, and then, and that was just like, uh, I, I love Anthony Hamilton too. Let gotcha. me let me let me go ahead and say I this. I know, I know that when he, when Anthony Hamilton comes out, I'm at five different places. Anthony Hamilton is performing right, right. in Atlanta. Right, right. Going to his shows, I bought the album the day it came out. Him and Life Jennings came out the same mm -hmm, day. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Life Jennings, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> and um, I, I um, this particular day, I, I felt awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I felt awkward. Right. Because, Shit, know him. Yeah, because you had to side with home team. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, but yeah. that's why I was trying to let you off the hook. Like, bro, that's not what this is. Yeah. I'm I, I'm not Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is not what this is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it was that, then yeah, I would have I would have needed and welcomed all of that energy. Mm -hmm. But that's not what that was. Mm -hmm. Not for me. That's mm -hmm. not what that was. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, but I appreciate you having my back. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, like that's 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 what you want. Like, I love you, I know, and, I, and I, I love I, you too, bro. And I appreciate the energy because it definitely helped me it helped to for me like it helped to facilitate how to operate because i was kind of in the dark like i don't know what to do like am i supposed to punch this dude in the mouth now like i don't know like <laughs> what's happening you know hey i like i got the punches yeah. for you and whatnot so yeah uh fuck this guy that i love with all my heart yeah exactly and whatnot i got all the yeah. albums yeah and i was like <laughs> exactly <laughs> and i know <laughs> I got all. So I was like, hey, hey, hey I everybody. listened to him. I listened to him on, and all was, the way there. And I was, I, I bet you did. And, and I was trying to be like, there. everybody, can we, can we, can we just like calm down? <laughs> you, Let's you was like that the whole time. I was like, let's just fuck calm it down. That, yeah, think, that's not what this I is. I think, fuck that. No, we gonna uh -huh. put on a good performance. We are gonna entertain. We are gonna give a good show. Yeah. But like behind the scenes, like yeah. let's not, let's not, let's not sip the Kool Aid. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because that's. That's how stuff get weird, like real yeah, quick. You yeah, know? one hundred percent. It was more important for me that me and him left the same way we came in. You know, what I'm and saying? you guys did. Yeah, actually, better. I had a better. Yeah. Way better. Yeah. I, I I couldn't even go over there and say nothing to him. Yeah, have it. <laughs> Cause man, like you killed it. Hey, <laughs> you, just gotta, you just gotta let that breathe. Bro. I had to let. I had to let it breathe. breathe. I was yeah. over there like. You gotta let that breathe. I, I I was talking to his publicist and everything. I was like, Hey, kid, you tell Anthony mm -hmm. I was just nah. playing. Mm -mm. Nah, bro. Um, nah. I nah. tell him that I love him. <laughs> you remember me from back in the day when you used to bring other artists it to my it show. Don't, it, don't even, it don't even matter at this point. Please tell us. I, I love him. <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah, that wasn't coming across at all. Yeah, and yeah. and then. I ain't even know when I went to the, y'all did the Fat Joe show the next day. He said, yeah, I slap him five if I see him. Slap me five. 
that, that, that's it. You slap me five. We can't say, hey man, boy, that was nah. double. Fun. Give me the same shit you gave me. <laughs> nah, hey. well, nah, because I didn't. I went to come hard. at him the yeah. same way that yeah. you did. Yeah, you know yes. So I, I, I would. It's almost like I was your alter ego that. <laughs> Yeah, that like night. you, you were that super alter ego that wasn't even yeah. an ego need that wasn't yeah. even created it wasn't even by necessary. you. Yeah, it was, yes, it was yeah, very yeah. necessary. But yeah. I, but I, but I, but I understood where you were coming from. Yes, yeah, know? okay, cool. But cool. that's why I try to check. You. I, I try to like you know, try to vibe check you. Like, hey, 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 come back. Too much. Too much. Come back. Too much. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I said, you sure? Because I got some more. I got. I wrote one more. Oh, no. I got. A, I, oh, I got no. like three more for them. Oh, no. If you need that, no, I don't. And whatnot. I'm, you can toss okay. it. It's all good. I appreciate you sure? Because they already hate me already. So yeah. I should nah, probably go ahead and dig another. Nah, don't double make down. this hole a little bit deeper. Don't, you know, don't double down. How deep or uh, 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 how deep a grave? The six feet. Stop. I can go stop. twelve now. Stop while you behind. I can bro. go twelve. Stop while you behind. Okay. One of us, I heard it on the Breakfast Club the next morning. Mm. I mean, Ang I Angela Yee kicked my ass. Oh, whoa. Man. Angela? Yeah, Angela. Wow. I, I took her on a date before. Okay. Okay. I believe you. Hey, yo, DJ Envy, he, he turned on me. Mm. Charlamagne was still with me. Oh wow! He was like, "That's what Jack Thriller do." What are y'all talking about? Exactly. He was with me. He got it. Nice. He got it. Because they was like, and he wore a Michael Jackson jacket. I'm like, yo, that's what he do. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, you was pretty fresh. I, I felt that yeah, way. He was pretty fresh. Man, man, they was on my ass. It was man. like it was like thrilling, delirious, kind of like put together. Yeah, yeah, it was good. That's I liked it. Yeah. That's what I was going for. Yeah, that, that's I, exactly. Okay. What I was going for, All man. Right. Yeah, next, yeah. Next, next question. Next uh, question. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> driller. Driller. Yeah. Um, driller. <laughs> uh, driller. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, you're right. No. no. Drill, driller no. was better. No. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, you're a baritone. I am. But you can sing falsetto like it's nobody's business. I appreciate the observation. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The training, the, where does it come from to be able to master both notes? Uh, master? Uh, master, mm, yeah, master. Uh, it's still a work in progress. Nah, man. I'm still, well, I'm still working people, on it. People talk about it. you a certain type of way. And I appreciate that, and I appreciate that. However, I don't, you know, I never felt, you know, like, you you want people I, top ten R and B guys? Okay, cool. I I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, it ain't, a, no, don't thank me. No, I'm just thinking. I'm thinking whoever you're referring to. Thank yes. You. Um, but I'm constantly working towards. You know, I always want to do better. You know, mm -hmm. I I tend to obsess over things. You know, probably more than I should. But you know, I have that perfectionist spirit, and I want everything to be right. And you know, if it's not, then it's a bad day, and I got to deal with that for the next couple of days. It's, you know, it's just hey, products of a traumatic upbringing. But um, we're not getting into that. Um, but yeah, I I appreciate, you know, um, that people appreciate how hard I work at it. But a lot of it, you know, I did all that dolo, like I just trial and error and just figuring it out, you know, because I was I was doing my best to sort of match how I hear it in my head, you know with how it, it comes out. So a lot of the times, cause I'm, I'm chasing, I'm chasing Stevie Wonder and Marvin Gaye, like, and they're, they, they do a lot of, you know, singing in, in the high registers. So I had to, I had to fi figure out a way to cover that, you know, starting with you know, such a low voice, like how can I, I'll, I'll never be able to do that. And then when, uh, after, you know, puberty, I learned about falsetto. I was like, hey, what is this? So technically I can do it. So I just had to get better at that register, you know, and it just kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And I, to the point where I was able to sing a full song through falsetto. And then eventually, you know, you work at something long enough, you just, you know, it's, 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 it's you're going to, you're going to naturally progress and get better at it. So 
that's that's where it really came from. So by technicality, you know, I I can sing in the soprano um, sort of like voice range, but I would have to definitely do it in falsetto because that that's pretty high. Oh, one hundred percent. They talk about you a lot on uh, Tank's podcast. Oh, um, okay. R and B money. Um, yeah, I heard pod- about that. Well, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't hear about them talking. I heard about the fact that he got a uh, podcast. That's dope. Shout out. To yeah, Tank. it's the they are the authorities. Jay Valentine and uh, Tank. Oh, okay. R and B. That's cool. what that 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 schnick is. Okay, cool. And they, they always bring you up on that. And uh, okay. they always bring up the same the, the, um, the same singers that you bring up too when they talk about uh, as you call the uh, the vocal uh, trinity. Yeah, for me, yeah, it was yes. uh, Donny Hathaway, Stevie Wonder, and Marvin Gaye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And can you explain why they are the vocal trinity? Well, for me, because those those were the three that resonated with me the most. Now, this is not to not acknowledge all the surrounding other artists that I was influenced by, that I was impacted by in a very great way, you know? Um, But it always seemed to, for me, to consistently revolve around those three. Um, More so for, I would say like, uh, for uh, Stevie Wonder, it would be because I was was, um, really moved and intrigued by his vocal ability. You know, the, the ideas that he would do vocally, the vocal acrobatics and the runs and just how he would how he would make very complicated vocal concepts seem so simple, you know. And I just always thought it was like magic that he would do that and it would have other people singing along with them. And I'd be like, y'all do realize like this is not that simple. This is very complicated. And y'all are singing it like it's so simple. And I was like, that was the that was the beauty and the gift in in his ability you know, that he could make music that the whole world would sing along with. Ever since he was a kid, it was that way, you know. And then for that to uh, translate all the way up to his, you know, adult life, and he's still making music that nobody else is making, you know. I just always thought that that was so top tier. Um, uh, Donny Hathaway is how I learned about, like, discipline, like vocal discipline. You don't always have to do a whole bunch of stuff. You don't have to do everything that's in your head. You know, note placement and note selection, you know, finding the right notes and the timing of it to 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 get the right emotion out and to make the right point, like be articulate, you know, and be specific, you know, and intentional in that way. Um, So that was like the other extreme as opposed to how I perceived uh, Stevie was not that he wasn't intentional, he was very intentional, but he was also explosive, too. So he was like, do whatever, you know came to mind at the time it was raw you know and I and I liked I liked how you know um, how in real time it was you know it's like it's like he's, he couldn't get enough out you know and I, I identified and resonated with that more because that I had a whole lot that I wanted to say and a whole lot I wanted to do and a whole lot that I hear you know in my mind that I wanted to you know but I'm I only got one body one voice and there's only been so much I could do um, so Donnie Hathaway kind of represented for me like the other extreme of like, you know, hey, tone it down. You know what I'm saying? Go this way, do this to, to get this result, you know, to affect this, you know, sort of like emotion or whatever um, that I didn't understand until I got older because he was talking about a lot of deep relationship stuff. And I don't know about that, you know, when you know, you don't you don't understand. It's just, it, it, it sounds like that's just grown folk music. I, don't, I can't identify with that, you know. But when I got older and I started going through my own stuff, and I'm like, oh, that's what he's talking about. Got you, you know. Because th- these are all foreign concepts and emotions that I never really experienced until I, you know, until I did. And then it's like, now this is, this is the perfect song. This is the perfect artist that makes the type of music that's the soundtrack to my experiences to my pain to my frustration you know in in dealing you know in these spaces and Marvin Gaye was Marvin Gaye was he, he was just the, the finesse of Marvin Gaye is what got me the most he wasn't doing a whole bunch of vocal acrobatics you know what I'm saying and he wasn't always trying to be deep unless he is and he gets pretty deep um, it was just about being cool it was about, you know, it was, it was more about a vibe, you know, that I, that's what I got growing up. That's what I got is like, nobody is going to be cooler than Marvin Gaye. I don't care who you are or who you think. 
Nobody was cooler than Marvin Gaye. And even when he was going through his, his you know, uh, personal issues and he was going through a lot of challenges in life, he still gave us that swag. He still gave us that finesse. He still gave us that, that cool, you know? So I just did my best to kind of put them all three together and, and give you music soul job. Mm. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Who do you resonate more with? Like, it's got to be one more than another. Like, when, it, if you were to break them down in percentages. It, it would be Stevie. Stevie would probably, uh, uh, if, if I have to make, like, a, a, a list, like, you know, top three, it would be Stevie, you know. And, and only that it would be Donnie third because of how much it takes in order to operate out of what I got from Donnie and sometimes that can get exhausting, you know, especially when you present that to an audience of people who can't even process all of that, you know? So it's like, save yourself, bro. Like do it, do it in a way, you know, for people who are looking for that, you know? And then it's like, okay, cool. You look for it. Cause I, I can do this, you know, but it doesn't make sense to do it to people and to, that don't really get it. And they're like, okay, that's nice. What's that other thing over there, though? And it's like, ah, oh, did you hear what I just did, though? You know? So to not run into that or try to have to process that, you know, that, that it takes a lot. It's like, it's like you want to cook for somebody, but you know if you spend, if you, if you try to, if you make a meal that spends two days to make, to prep, you know, because you got to let stuff sit overnight or whatever, and then the next day, whatever, and they just, you know, nibble at it. It's like, ah, like what, ha what just happened, you know? So it's like a matter of understanding who your audience is. And I had to run into the fact that, unfortunately, most people ain't got the attention span for, you know, what I would create out of how I was impacted and, 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 and inspired by Donny Hathaway, you know? So people will respond better to, you know, how I would have been impacted by, say, Marvin Gaye, you know, because it's cooler. And people would really be, you know, uh, entertained by how I was inspired by Stevie Wonder because it's entertaining, it's, it's, it's explosive. It's, it's like a lot of cool stuff, a lot of intricate stuff happening, you know? It's, it's sing along with the bull, you know? It's, it's immediately identifiable. It's, it's like, yeah, yeah, me too, you know? Mm. You gotta go through stuff in order to understand what Donnie, you know, is talking about. And a lot of people either haven't gotten there yet or they didn't really care to really go through it. They just got out of there, you know? So it's like. Yeah, and never, are they wrong for that? No, no, no. I'm not passing judgment on anybody. I'm just, I'm, I'm just making an observation you, that you, orders my decisions on how I choose to move creatively. I, I, I understand that. And, yeah. and you know, it, it, what, are you, what you're saying right now is like really, really, um, it, it, it's so many, it's so many, so much. Mm answers inside of what you just said okay. about the, the Donny Hathaway situation mm -hmm. and the way uh, his music even resonated for you. And Yeah, you, because it, it, it was very like... It was heavy. It was very heavy. It was super heavy. Was so you could see heavy. what he was dealing with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you almost like need a therapist with you definitely after you listening to you that definitely even in, even you though have to listen <laughs> yeah i thought you was gonna say to create stuff like that or to yeah but not even after listening because it connects you with your stuff yeah because it, it's almost like it's the soundtrack to it like if if your stuff was a movie it would be playing donny hathaway in the back yeah, yeah 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 and 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 if you uh, you you we have a choice in mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. to deal with all that stuff mm -hmm. or push it to the back yeah, take our and let it yeah. haunt us. Yeah, exactly. And whatnot. And like, that you, part. You, do, will you address it? Yeah. And, and yeah. rise to the occasion yeah, or will I, you I, act like it's not there nah, I don't like and let that. it be that uh, 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 imaginary friend nah, bro. on your show? Nah, yo. And, nope, and, nope. and I think the studio was his imaginary right. friend yeah. and he was getting it out there and it was a false sense of love for him. And outside of that, like if if, if I could, it's, it's a lot of Dunny Hathaway inside of Kanye West. Oh, wow. Okay. 
it's a lot of Donny Hathaway. Like Interesting. Okay. Inside of Kanye, hmm. the shit that he ain't he not dealing with when it when Got it comes you. when you go with the fame mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and spirituality at the mm -hmm. same time. I see what you're saying. You know, like you you, you walk in the line, mm -hmm. and all the things that you think you want. Mm -hmm. You know, when it comes to quote unquote things you're not used to. Got you. When I say used to, I'm talking about that you grow up with. Mm -hmm, like, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I kind of don't want to get like specific. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> specific in it. But I think oh, I I'm understand talking about what you're taste. Saying. Yeah, certain I, taste. And I think I understand. Because you get acquired about. taste. I think when I understand what you're You start about. to get certain levels of success. Right. Mm hmm. But you can't say what you want to say. You can't mm. do what you want to do. Right, right. And whatnot. And so now you start to uh, think, just like Kanye was saying, uh, and I think this is what, Con what uh, Donny Hathaway was going through, mm. like, what's the point of being, being famous if I can't do what I want to do? Mm. Gotcha. <laughs> and can you imagine what it's like in the 70s that oh, way? Oh, my God, yeah. yeah, yeah like, no internet? No internet, no, no outlet. Sheesh. yeah. And every like nigga, shut the fuck. Basically, oh. in that there, in that way too. Yeah, yeah, and you don't have that. You don't have, you, even the people that you've hired to be your yes man mm -hmm. start n being your. Yeah, yes. I don't know about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess. So. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, your yes man being your I guess man. I guess man. Right, yeah. I guess, man. Yeah. Yeah. Because the check coming in. And yeah. And you know, he ain't making it. He ain't have a billion dollars. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. It was rough. You know what I'm saying? There. So, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, 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 it's been rough for people who wanted to, you know, impart. Artist. You know, their, you know, a piece of themselves in their art, you know, to, to offer that up to people with the intention of it serving them in the best way possible. It's always been, you know, such a. It's 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 it like it's like it's it's just always been extremely challenging. Yes, you know what I'm saying because you can't help to want to do it because you know the value of it, but you're trying to present something so valuable to a mass of people who who don't even have the means to process the value of it. You know, so either you have people that are willing to hear you out and give it a chance and you know, offend, you know, hopefully discover how valuable it is or they just they just they just dismissive of it and just, you know, maybe unintentionally insensitive, you know, and don't realize that they're they're, you know, sort of discrediting something that they may actually really want and need, but because they don't understand it at the time. They don't want to give it a chance, which is fine. It's everybody's, you know, decision to do that. But to go out of your way, you know, to kind of shit on it because it don't meet your requirements of what you think is dope. Only to like, only to have you come back like five, ten years later and be like, oh, no, man, this is really, yeah, but it was that then when you said it wasn't. And I had to live with the fallout from that. Now I got to be before my time. How do you know? Like, you don't know that, you know? <laughs> yeah. You just know you thought it was dope, and then you put it out, and you think everybody else would think that it's dope. So when you when you put it out, and then people be like, maybe not, bro. You just like, wait a minute. I know what I know, and I know that that's dope. And my, maybe I got this wrong. I don't know. And then it starts to chip away at your sense of confidence, and you start getting gunshot with putting stuff out. And then people be like, I wonder what happened to so-and-so. And you know what? Me, me too. I wonder what happened. Ain't no telling. There's no way. There's no way we can know how, why they're not still productive right now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. It, it, it's, it, it's, it's really, really deep. Right. And and and, and, and please let me just mention. I'm not here taking shots at nobody. I'm not trying to judge nobody for their decision making and what they're interested in. And and not. I'm just saying like these are the challenges of creative people who want to do more you know, to a mass of people who want you to stay where they know you as. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it just gets really weird. Yeah, you can't really have an opinion because your opinion uh, doesn't fit the conversation. Right, right. Or even uh, the convers in the conversation 
you know, you won't let me explain myself. Right. right. So it's so like, we can get to a level yeah. of understanding. Yeah. 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 And so you know, because a lot of um, you've been in a lot of different situations where you know people were wondering why you didn't, you weren't more uh, taking. Uh, Muse so child is not political. He right. won't. He won't. He's. Mm. He, he won't talk about religion mm. or politics. No, nah, because that's 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 subjective, you know, and it's open for interpretation, and you're never right or wrong. <laughs> so it's like, to me, respectfully, that sounds like a waste of time because a person is going to choose what they're going to choose either way. So I would rather use that time you know, investing it in something that is also subjective, but it's something that I can impart what I want to put into it, which is positivity, you know? I want it to have a positive effect. Religion, conversations around religion and, and politics is so easily divisive. I don't like being a part of that. I don't like showing up to that, you know? I like showing up to, okay, what can we all agree on? What can we all, you know, all get down on what can we all have fun with what can we all be positively impacted by you know i don't mind having conversations and you know because it could be divisive too about relationships but you're going to deal with those either way you know and when i talk about them i talk about things that just are things that happen these aren't necessarily things that i'm creating or making up you know, it's not like I'm, I'm just making a song and I'm putting stuff together. No, these are things that are just happened. I'm giving my perspectives, which is the reason why it's my opinion, because it's according to my perspective. But not I don't think that should be mistaken for it's something that I just believe happened. No, these are things that are happening. I'm just giving you my take on it. You know what I'm saying? Religion and politics. It all, it, I think that's heavily based on your the, the information that you have. You know, how much research have you done? You know, how were you raised? What what things were you taught to believe? You know, like and those things can change and sway according to whatever information that you're presented with, or how much you got finessed, you know, in either direction. But I believe that most people and this is this, it's loose belief because I don't really know. Most people believe that they're saying the same thing, you know, and that's where it gets confusing. So I I. I can't even, I won't even like allow myself to believe that I have any authority on that in any way. Yes, I have a platform. Yes, I have a voice, but I'm not an actively political individual. I'm not an actively religious person, so I don't feel like I have a say. So I don't, I don't talk about it, but I am actively, you know, in these relationship streets, you know, and I'm, and I, cause I deal with people on a daily basis and it's not, and I think people mistake it for I'm only specifically talking about romantic and intimate religion. No, I'm just talking about engagement with anyone other than myself. You know, the, the whatever level you want to put it on, that's still a relationship mm. because you are attempting to relate with this other person, mm. which can go either way. But I got time for that because it's going to happen either way, and people need insight you know, and game on how to maneuver and navigate through it better. I know I needed it. I still need it, you know? So it's just like, I just came up on some game and I just want to share it. Hey, that's what I just learned. Maybe it might work for you. I can dig it. I'm going to come back to that. I, I want to okay. um, explore you, um, this political thing. Uh, you had an op you had an opportunity and you did, did the pre-inauguration for Obama. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. I did a show. I like when yeah. you say that. It's just so so because it's it's, it's nuanced. So why you do? What? How? What? How does that get to be nuanced inside you? You know what's nuanced in my life? What's nuanced in your life, Jack? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. What's nuanced in my life? I was in the move, bitch. Get out the way, video. And and I think I was the bitch in the video. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Just as simple as that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Obama wanted you there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you know, at the time I'm pretty sure you was like, hey, this is a black guy. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna make it to no. be become president. No, not at all. I was excited. 
You was excited? Yeah. I was excited at the notion that it's going to be a black man in the White House. So, so you, you thought you you thought at that particular time that he had a sh, a, a snowball's chance in hell of becoming president. Yeah, the fact that it was even part of the conversation, I was like, whether he gets in there or not, he already won because it was a part of the conversation. It was never a part of the conversation before. Now you know uh, Kanye talking about running in twenty twenty four, right? Word. <laughs> okay. Hey, why not? Uh, why not? Hey, hey, hey what, what's the lesser evil, right? Yeah. What we got to lose? Why not, man? I say the same thing when people be talking about Herschel Walker. I was like, hey, man, what we got to lose, goddamn? I just heard about that. And I don't really know that much about that, but that's just, that's really interesting. It's interesting, but once again, like I said before, what we got to lose? He, pro like, you know, you know, a lot of people are disappointed in Joe Biden. Mm -hmm, I heard. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, 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 and you know, I'm not a political guy either mm -hmm. and whatnot, but uh, you know, whoever was running against him at the time, you see what I'm doing? Whoever was running like against that, him yeah. at the time, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was going for, the, for them. Wow. Because I didn't know this nigga. Right. It's like the devil you know, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's where I was with the shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I, uh, yeah, now nah, I do. N yeah, I <laughs> Yeah, so whoever was- a whole was, internal conversation that yeah, nobody was a part of. Got you. Yeah, yeah they, I showed it. It's yeah. okay. We with yeah, you. Yeah, so you I was them. with them, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the guy that was running against them, mm -hmm. because my life was going great. Got you. In that pocket. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, man, why are we about to fuck this shit up with this nigga right here? <laughs> and that, Because I don't know what he about to do. He just mm -hmm. kept on saying, hey, man, if you let me, we going to all get some I pussy. Heard, we going to throw, yeah. you know what I'm saying, pussy parties. We Y'all, everybody going to get everything. And we're going to get a car for everybody mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, come, nigga, please. <laughs> it was just, it just felt too good to be true. Right. And, you know, when it comes to, the, uh, you know, Yeezy, Mm -hmm. In this particular uh, conversation, I feel like yo, know, this, this is another black guy, and I do know that one thing about us: even if we don't like this guy, mm -hmm. and it's the popular vote, a, if he offers some Yeezys and I'm shit be, for I'm everybody be, well, for twenty dollars okay. a piece, well, not well for me. I'm gonna be completely honest. I have an inherent creative bias to Kanye. You know what I'm saying? I have an inherent creative bias to Kanye. I don't know what his politics are. I don't know. I, I know nothing from that. I'm all I see is the yay that I was inspired by. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, uh, that I'm still inspired by to this day. You know what I'm saying? The more, you know, I listen to his music and I, you know, um, unpack all of his offerings. You know what I'm saying? Um, as a writer, as a as a producer, as a musician, as a as a as a creative. You know. I have I just have an inherent bias. So I'm not gonna sit here and act like I wouldn't wanna see what that looks like. You know what I'm saying? I wanna see what it looked like. Yeah. I'm curious. I'm the same way. I just wanna see what does that look like? Yeah. Kanye being in office. Mm -hmm. You know, doing fashion. Right. You know, and yeah. talking that crazy shit and okay. then <laughs> you know, yeah. interacting with people that are you know, uh, want to go to war with us and stuff, <laughs> wow, and, wow. and him like, "Hey man, y'all chill out with that shit." I don't so even crazy. get that far. I don't even get that. I far. don't even think it's gonna get that far though. Right. I, I don't even think, think it's gonna get that far. Yeah. I just think about, you know, artist to artist, creative to creative. Yeah. You know what I'm Why saying? Why not? Because, just honestly speaking, we creative people just have a different take on life. Mm. You know, we see things differently that. Most people don't see it that way. That's why we are, you know, the curators, you know, of 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 the shit that we give y'all because mm. we have an interesting and unique perspective on things. Mm. You know, we're 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 conduits, we're messengers, you know. We we are presenters of things that, you know, quote unquote the average person wouldn't consider because they just live a different life. Mm. You know? So I I I would I'm really interested to see you know, how he would tackle a lot of these big issues. Fuck it, 2024, let's go. <laughs> yeah. E even with Herschel Walker, fuck it. Let's, let's see what it looked like. Yeah, hey, I don't know about that, though. No, no, no. I'm about I just myself. don't know about it.
Yeah, that's not that like, yeah, I don't know about that. Like, no, I just don't know about it. I, hey, man, oh, you, you see little commercials about him. He, he say they say he lied about being I in the FBI. Them. I never watched them. I'm and only, I only know I lied about being in the FBI. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, hey, uh, 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 what is they say? He choked, choked, choked one of his homegirls out. And what I like took one of my homegirls out. Okay, you know that's something you might want to say too loud. But I, no, I, she, I, I, no, I, I stopped. I, I stopped when I stopped. I stopped. Still, I stopped. I was like, "Are you, you cool? You gonna stop? You should stop. You gonna stop? You should stop talking about it." All right, cool. I only know about it because people <laughs> I'm talk just playing. I fooled y'all. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Ha, 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 ha. Happy Halloween. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Herschel Walker. For 2023 right i was saying i only know about it because it's it's part of the conversation yeah. I, I even i only know about it i don't know anything of it so mm. like you're saying stuff that i i don't know i just know that he's in the news now and mm. people are talking about him you mm. know, so 100 percent um now uh, uh, with that being said let's let's go ahead and pivot real quick okay and um let's go to um uh back to Music with with a puffy. Music He's saying puffy? that R and B is dead. Did you, oh, you did okay. you hear that? Do you yeah. feel like Puffy is somebody that w should be able to even say that right there? And because he said it's just in a dark place right now. Everything mm. is so melancholy, and mm. it's not fun anymore. We mm. ain't making love no more. We're not, you know, what I'm saying begging women to be back with us, and mm. you know, just pretty much pleading our situation mm -hmm. with the young ladies and or keeping it light like okay. music soul child you know you know when you said i'm not trying to pressure you yeah just, you know what i'm saying mm, yeah <laughs> just can't stop thinking about you yeah you ain't even really gotta be my you ain't even really gotta be my girlfriend not really you you heard what you said when you said that yeah yeah I just want to know your name and maybe sometime we, we gonna hook up, hang out, and just chill. Just chill and and decide what we're gonna do from there. There's no yeah. pressure in that at no. all. No, no, no. It's whatever. Yeah, and if you decide you you don't want to rock with me, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll just go talk to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to commit. Nah, un I mean until we come to that point where we want to make the decision to do that. Yeah. But on the outset, like, nah, bro, like it's no pressure. You don't know me, I don't know you. That's the whole point. We're trying to get to know each mm -hmm. other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the but the but to introduce yourself to a person with a list. You know, okay, so this is me, this is what I like, these are my preferences, this is my I like, bro, bro, bro. I don't even know if I'm gonna be here for that long. Like, can we just can we go eat some food first? You know? But go ahead. You, when 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 a woman comes up to you and she want to introduce you to her kids and mm. and mm. whatnot, and you know, you you gotta like my kid first and blah blah blah. Okay. What's the process for that for you? Like time, 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 man, time. And everybody has a different, you know, um, sort of like threshold with that, you know, so to speak. Like some people move relatively quickly, you know. Some people. They need more time, and I think it's all. De it all depends on what a person has experienced. You know that sort of affects the way that they make decisions moving forward. You know, there was a time that I was I was quicker to make decisions on certain things that I, I sit back and I think about now. Mm. You know, because I didn't have the experience to reference that I should sit and think about it. Mm. You know, th so now that I have the experience, experience is that. I can reference now, like, okay, maybe next time don't move so fast, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So, but you, but you were asking a different question before. That. Is R and B dead? Oh, right. Um, here's the thing about this R and B conversation. It's really interesting how. First off, okay. Let's start here. Mm. Let's define what R and B is, and then. Well, see, I was kind of going to. It's, it's funny that you, that you mentioned that. I know what you, I know how you do. Because I was kind of about to like go there a little bit. Yeah. So and, and again, it's just my take on it. You know, I'm not the resident. You know, expert. You know, I'm just an I'm, not, I'm an observer from a very unique position mm -hmm. of I don't know having been lived that life for twenty some odd years. Okay. Um, you know, and proceeding that just being very interested that I almost willed it into reality because I was chasing it so hard. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, I just made a really interesting observation along the way 
at some point where how and it, and, it, and it was triggered by the conversation around it the r and b r and b is dead real r and b and r and b this and r and b that and it's like okay, okay, what do you mean when you say an r and b what are you talking about mm -hmm. the reason why I'm asking that question because I remember that there was a time where r and b the, the the term the phrase the the category the genre was cultivated and, and coined. It was very intentional, it was for a specific reason and it had a specific sound that came with that. Mm -hmm. The point is not to get into the details of that. The point is to say that that happened at a certain moment in time. Mm -hmm. And then time went on and the sound sort of evolved to the point where it didn't really sound like what the intentions were that made the the r b genre in the first place mm -hmm. so my thing is why didn't nobody change the name they did like trap r b no 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 i mean way before then okay so let's take it right once we got to the 70s late 70s there was such a distance and a departure from the from the OG formula blueprint of R&B because so many new things were being factored in. There's a lot of socially charged perspectives. There's a lot of difference in opinions on relationships because traditional wasn't really working like that as much as it used to back in the 60s and 50s. People were moving different. They were getting different ideas. You know, women were definitely moving different. It was starting to, you know, so it changed it changed the home dynamic. So the songs, the content, the song context started to shift, you know, and that's where I feel like you get a lot of the. The 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 more emo and the more, as you said, that bro said, the more like depressing and melancholy because people will come in home to, you know, not so happy homes. You know, at least the facade of it, you know, wasn't living up to the dream because a lot of things were happening in the world and it affected people's decision making and how they choose to choose to want to live their lives. And then you got to think about the kids that were raised under that and they were looking at their parents like, nah, I'm gonna go this way. Right. Mm -hmm. But it was still close enough. It evolved, you know, new things started being introduced, but it was still close enough. When the 80s came and the whole digital era and bands weren't really that prevalent and people were just doing it all themselves on this one little machine, it inherently changed the sound. Why no one changed the name? Something clearly different is happening, but it's being called the same thing. Yes, I understand that it's an extension of it, but it sounds very different. Can we all agree that it sounds different? Yes, 100%. Are you sure? Yes, yes, it does. Definitely. It sounds very different because all the elements that were that were necessary in order to make it what it was when it started are not the same elements that are being used now to make it. So by default, it's just different. Mm. So then now you have all of these other people that started to come in and they wanted to try their hand at cultivating a sound. Right. So let's fast forward to the late 80s, early 90s. It changed again. Because people weren't just doing the same digital esque sound. People wanted to move away from that and they wanted to start incorporating more. Real, you know, sounds, you know, or whatever, or more. I'm trying to find a word. It's like they didn't want it to just be you know, stock sounds on a, on a production machine. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, nah, can I get like, can I at least make it sound like somebody put some effort into it? Because by then, everybody and their mama was used, recycling the same sounds. And it's like, I don't wanna sound like the same person. I don't, I don't wanna sound like I'm, I'm old school anymore. Like, I wanna sound like I'm now, right? So, fast forward to Bro's era. He contributed to a wave. What he called it? He called it the the, um, the up, uptown. Yeah, uptown yeah. Um, funk. 
You know, up, Uptown Swing, or Uptown, whatever. Not up, New Jack Swing. No, that's Teddy in you know. them. That's Teddy them. Yeah. Uh, he called it. What did he? But 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 the point I'm trying to make is all it. of these people came out with their own sound. That is very different than when the name R and B or when the phrase R and B was was made or came up came up with. You know, it's honoring it. It's 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 in tradition of it in its own way, but it sounds very different. My thing is, let's honor what 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 it was being called. If you want to call it New Jack Swing, that's New Jack Swing. If that's Uptown, that's Uptown. If that's you know you, you got you know uh, whatever was coming out of you know Jam and Lewis, you know they was doing their thing. You know they was contributing to a whole thing. There's a bunch of people. You know, so when I ask the question, what R&B are you talking about? Which R&B? It's not all the same, unless I got it messed up and I need to just accept that it's all the same. I'm, not, I'm actually asking. Do you, do you accept that it's all the same? It, I, how can I? I can't, it's, it's not the same. Take a song from the 90s and put it up against a song from the 50s or the 60s they don't sound like the same. If a person from the time that R&B was cultivated got in the time machine and got, came to, to, to the 90s or came to now, and you say, this is, this is what R&B is now. It's like, huh? It's going to be, I'm sure, it's going to be some variation of, no, nah, I don't know what that is. Mm. It's good. I like it. I can get with it, but that ain't what we're doing over here. Mm. I'm not talking about how you feel and your opinion. I'm talking about what's actually happening. Because anybody can say, well, if I want that Motown sound, there's certain elements that you have to use in order to make the so-called Motown sound. Right? I, I, I believe Because so. there is a Motown sound. Yeah. You can identify, you can pick it out in the lineup. Like, that's a Motown sound. Mm -hmm. That's not what's happening now. But it's being called the same thing. Go thriller, Jack thriller, these That's all I'm at. I'm just posing a question. Mm. I'm not. I'm not. You know, making a definitive decision or saying that this is. I'm just saying what. What are you talking about? Mm. And I feel like that's what contributes to the confusion, because now people are giving credit to things in ways that that's not what that is. So you saying R and B ain't dead? It's R and B is confused. <laughs> you could say that. I think R&B is going through an identity crisis and has been for a very long time. R&B is going through a menopause. <laughs> sure. Now, bro have a right to say something because he helped build the house of what we call R&B. Okay, so he's, a, he's an authority on he this. He is an authority. He okay. got points on the board. Like He got points. You can, you can check the timeline. Okay. Tried and true. Goaded. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel he has a right to say, in, in my opinion, he has a right to say. Say, say. So. Say so. Okay. Because he helped push it. Mm. You know, he helped, he helped push the culture. Everybody knows this. Mm. So I, I can understand that he would have a perspective like that. Mm. But I think that people should hear him out before they start, oh, you old, you don't know what you're talking about, ah, da, da, da. Like, no, the man is coming from a very valid perspective. You know what I'm saying? Because he's looking at, in my opinion, I don't know, I have to talk to him about this, but I'm just saying, I would assume that he's looking at when I was making R&B, we were making this kind of music. That's not happening no more. That's what I'm to believe, that's what he's saying. Okay, all I'm saying is a person from Motown can say the same thing about his time. Hmm. Can. Probably wouldn't. But can. Because it's not happening the same way that it did then. So again, I ask the question: when you're talking about R and B, what R and B are you talking about? Got you. Got you. And, and, and let me ask you this: do you think that you might be a little bougie when it comes to this the conversation? Because no. you, you got 30 monsters under your belt. I don't. I wouldn't say bougie. You got you 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 you, you kind of got a, a a better ear than most. 
I would just say I'm, 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 um, I don't, I think I just don't like the word bougie in this context. Mm -hmm. I think you don't either. I'm sorry. About, do you think that you're a little more selective with yeah, your. Okay, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You're, you're, I'm you're, a little more select. I'm, I'm, because I'm speaking in honor of. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking in honor of the timeline. So many iterations has transpired, and I feel like it's all being dismissed and just ran down the same lane, like it's the same thing. And everybody is not being appreciated for their contributions. It's like, oh, that's just that R&B stuff. Like, no, did you see, like this dude changed everything. You know, him or his crew, whoever he was affiliated with, they changed from this person, from when that person did what they did on, everything was different but it was called the same thing, which is fine. If that's what we're going to do, if that's what we're doing, cool. I just want to have an understanding of which part of it are we talking about when we refer, because everybody, I believe, has their own interpretation of what good R&B is. Gotcha. I just want to know which R&B are you talking about? All right. It's all valid and it's all relative and it's all, you know, I respect it all. I just, for the sake of the conversation, like, which part are we talking about? Which part are we honoring? Which part are we referring to? Because that will help your argument as to say that it's, you know, good enough or not. Like, what, which, which part of the culture are you trying to live up to? Or are you trying to honor? Are you trying to emulate? Are you trying to push forward? Because it went through so many things. You know, you got the, you got the new edition sound. You got the print sound. You got the... You got the uh, uh, um, uh, 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 like I said, the, the puffy sound. You got the, you got the, the Teddy Riley sound. Like you got all of these different things, and it's way more. Yeah, all yeah. these different things happened. The the, the, the Jodeci, you got Jodeci, the jagged edge. That's, that's pretty much puffy, and and then Jamey Dupree. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying? like you got all of these different yeah. things that happened. Yeah, can we just honor these moments? Like they all branched off. They all branched off into different things. Yeah, they have the same roots, but they all went off into different things. So depending on who's making what R&B, you have, I think it's important to understand, okay, which part of this story, R&B story, are they, are they honoring? Are they trying to, you got Timbaland, he came out with his thing, you know, and that changed everything. Like it's, it, it's so many different iterations, you know, and I think that is the reason why, you know, and I don't like to use the word confused, you know, because it has a negative thing on it, but. I don't think that we're Confused, all having Confused, this same. means I just need some answers. Yeah, which is why I'm asking the question. Yes. Which R&B are you talking about? All right. So, hey, let me pivot real quick. Okay. Um, let's talk Prince. Mm, okay. You got a chance to have Prince play uh, 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 guitar for Just Friends. Oh, okay. What did that mean to you right there, man? Where, 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 I didn't where you... get him to do it. No, I know you ain't get him to oh, okay. do it. You, you know, lightning struck. Okay, sure. I'll take that. Your light, lightning struck, and uh, it happened for you. Yes. And, you know, this is a milestone inside of your life. With uh, What's that word that you you, you always use? This oh, too. okay. Nuance. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, it's not my word. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that was nuanced. I mean, but we, we, <laughs> we don't have to get it... <laughs> We don't have to get into the nuances. <laughs> what did that mean to you? Where, where were you mentally when this was happening? When this guy is so like on it wasn't so. No, first of all, the reason why I say I, I didn't get him to do it because it wasn't my situation. Yes, it was his. Yes, I was. I was. I was coming into his thing. Yeah, you know that he had going on. I don't even remember how I even got there. To be honest, it was so long ago, but. That's I, how much your life is so nuanced. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's pretty good. That's, you saw what I did. Use that. Yeah, I saw it. You you did that. Yes, yeah, that, that's crazy, <laughs> yeah, man. For you to be, you, you can say All that. By yourself. Yeah. You can say that. Yeah, man. I know. But that's what I was focused on. Mm. That part. I'm like, I'm actually here. Like in the moment, boy is right there. Yeah. Like this is happening mm. right now. You know. Mm. And. You know, I was super self-conscious. You know, the perfectionist in me wished that I, you know, I just did a whole bunch of 
Oh, you shows. you be cringing when you see that, even yeah, when you see it. A little it. bit, a little bit. Yeah. Only because only because I wanted to do better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I just did a whole run. My voice wasn't where I wanted it to be. But I wasn't going past that moment. I have, I'm going back down from that. Like, no, I'm going. Mm. I don't care. Even <laughs> if I'm at 30%, I'm going to go. Okay. You know? Okay. And um, it was at a very interesting time because a lot of things were kind of like, it was a cross section of a lot of moments in my personal life that I didn't know how to deal with. But here is this great moment to be distracted by, you know? So it was just, it was really ill. Yo, when you walked on stage, people was going banana. I still couldn't, I still didn't know how to process that. Because it was why you, he right there on the stage with I you. Know, I They're know. already over the part that he's there. I know, I know. All of this is, is too big to process. Hey, can I tell you something? Mm. Hey, I'm your uh, 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 I'm your friend. I know, but uh, I started. I, I cried. When? What about when? I cried when you was it, when he when they was cheering for you and he Are was you playing for you. That was, yeah, I did. Wow. I mean, I was cause I you. felt like it was happening to me. It might as well. Yeah, yeah. I it's had it's like for it. all of us. It's for all of us. Yeah. I felt like it. yeah, man. It's the moment for all of us. It was a okay. win, man. Yeah. Okay. Yo, yo uh, so check this out, man. Mm -hmm. This new Jack Thriller City, mm -hmm. and um, this, of course, this ain't the first time you've been on the show, and it ain't gonna be the last time. Word. We got a uh, relationship segment that yeah. is unmatched. Yeah, I, I saw I saw some of the episode. They turned out pretty cool. I, yeah, I, I just I, be I, like when I talk about stuff, I just be feeling like I just be rambling on about crap that nobody really cares about. No, I and then when I watched it, I was like, huh. I look like I sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Man, let me tell you something. I mean, I know that I know what I'm talking about, but you definitely not everybody be paying about. attention. I'm like, I'm just talking to myself at this point. But I appreciate the platform, you know, to be able to express all of these things that, you know, I talk about a lot and often because these are like deep thoughts that I have, you know, uh, all the time. But I just don't know if, you know, other people, like, I mean, this is clearly where all the songs come from, you know. But I I never really talk about them in that way, you know, on a platform designed to uh, be presented to people to just hear me talk about it. Most people just want to hear me sing about it. But you know, and then a lot of the times I'll be working through a lot of stuff too. You know, man, people don't understand how special you really are. No, oh, thank I'm you. I'm about to do it again. I told myself I'm gonna do this. Today. Jack, come on, man. <sighs> All right, man. Yo, yeah. th yo, thank you, music, for coming through New Jack Thriller City today. Yo, DJ Wiz, can you take us out? <sighs> <sighs> thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah.